Hello and welcome back to the second part um, on the second tutorial um, on HTML basic um, lessons. Okay, just to recap on what we were doing, is uh, I've made the text slightly bigger for you. At the last tutorial, um, I didn't; uh, it was a little bit too small. Um, so we've got the HTML tag here, and we closed it with the HTML tag, remembering um, the forward slash, and then we open up the head tag and close the head tag obviously with the forward slash and then the title tag and we have the contents of the title tag saying this is the title closing the title tag obviously remembering the forward slash and then after the closing head tag we then open up the body tag remembering to close the body tag um, straight away and inside we have this is the main content of the page exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark Okay, and then to do a new line, we have a break tag, which is one of uh, one of many or the only tags that doesn't need a closing tag. Uh, and then here you have say this is new line. So this is potentially saying enter and or return, go to the next next line. So let's quickly have a look at that on the web page. As we've seen before, it's simply there. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about. Uh, uh, doing headings, uh, paragraphs, bold, underlines, uh, italic. Um, let's stick for that for now. Okay, start off with. Let's. Um, we're just going to get rid of these two li lines here and just use this line. So first of all, we have the bold tag. So we open up the bold tag, which is a B. Okay, and we open the bold tag, and anything after the bold tag if we don't close it is bold now if we close the bold tag here okay remember in, we're closing the bold tag with a forward slash so we'll control s to save and we'll press f5 or press refresh as you can see this is the is gone bold and the main content of the page isn't bold so if we cut this out completely save the page now the whole page goes bold alright so um, there's pros and cons about doing this it's best to always close the bold tag where it needs to be closed so we put it at the end and we'll close it as bold okay now let's put a new line here saying this um, text is italic and we'll, like we learnt before, we'll put a, a break. Whoops, a break tag here to say new line. All right. Okay. So for the italic, this text is italic. Uh, italic is simply an I. Okay. And we open the italic tag. So we close the italic tag. Um, okay. Next is we'll. Whoops, we'll put a, a break tag here so it, it goes to a new line so it's nice and tidy. And then we're going to do the underline text. So this uh, text is underlined. And that is, if you can guess, is U. Okay? Is don't be mistaken by UL. UL is uh, something completely different. So um, we close the U, the underline tag, and uh, we'll put a break. Whoops. We'll put a break there as well. Um, now, let's go down to this. Uh, this text is uh, bold, underlined, and italic. So basically, what we're going to have is we open the bold tag. We open the italic tag and we open the, um, the underline tag. So what we need to do is we need to close the underline tag first because it's the last one open. Close the italic tag because it's the second to last one open and close the bold tag. So as you can see, whoops, we missed out. There we go, done it properly. So if we click on this. Yeah, that's all correct. So we'll, what we're going to do now is uh, we'll save it out and have a look. So Control S to save, come back to a page, press F5, 
and now as you can see this is the main content of the page it was bold as we left it see this is the main content of the page is bold and we did a break new line this text is italic this text is underlined this text is bold underlined and italic okay um, okay last last thing to do what we're going to do is we have not got a, a break tag at the bottom of here so what we're going to do is we're going to wrap all this text in a paragraph tag okay so come down here and open and close the paragraph tags it starts here ends here and what I want to do is copy all of this text and just place another one uh, underneath here okay so uh, and then we'll save this out and you can see now as you can see it basically with a paragraph it automatically goes to a new line okay and it actually adds another new line um, as a normal paragraph would be it, within a book it always has a separate line underneath um, okay so paragraphs are quite handy to use um, they're, they're good to, to use for text, you can format the paragraph as well, you can align the paragraph uh, left and right, That's we'll come into that a little bit uh, later. But for the time being, um, what I want you to do is practice uh, with the bold tag um, and the italic tag um, and the underline tag and uh, the paragraph. So you've got P, B, I, you okay um, I said I was going to do the heading tag but I'm going to leave it for now we'll do the heading tags um, on the next uh, tutorial because I think uh, that was enough for the time being and I don't want to run over um, the time so uh, thank you very much uh, for listening I'm David Thorne from www.thornwebdesign.de check out my other tutorials and I hope to see you very soon goodbye